I think it's important to be friends with the nature. When you're familiar with something, you become attached to it. And it's important to have beauty in your life and to see beauty because it surrounds us. It's easy for those of us reared in North Carolina to take azaleas for granted. With their paper-thin petals on sturdy branches, their stout leaves, their mouths open to the world. But what if we looked again, closer this time? What or who might they reveal to a more attentive eye? I'm Eleanor Spicer Rice, and this is Our State's North Carolina, naturally. For you as an artist, what happens when you take time to pay close attention to our everyday world? What do you find? Um, hopefully I find something I want to paint. <laughs> <laughs> Brenda Bear is an artist who pays close attention to the natural world. She sees a lot of things that the rest of us don't take the time to notice. Well, this happens to be an eastern swallowtail butterfly that I'm told pollinates the flame orange azalea. This butterfly has pollen all over it. And by having a dry brush up here in the wing, I was able to kind of capture that. So when Brenda was painting the azalea in there, I didn't even notice that the wings of the butterfly were dusted in pollen. And as soon as you mentioned that, the whole story of the very complicated and ancient and beautiful interaction between this insect and this plant just came into focus. And it's something that we've wondered about, or we never even thought to wonder about it, but it's something that you saw. And I was staring at the same picture that you were seeing, but I never even noticed. And then once you said it, I couldn't stop looking at it. He's been a busy butterfly. He's a very busy butterfly, he is. Even though azaleas bloom all around us here in the South, we never took a close look at who was actually pollinating them until recently. I'm Mary Jane Epps. I'm an associate professor of biology at Mary Baldwin University. Mary Jane Epps spent many months quiet in Appalachian forests watching the world. I mean, they're stunningly beautiful. The flame azaleas, uh, for anyone who's seen them, I mean, they are really, I think of them as one of these botanical firework displays that just light up the forest understory. Many flowers hold their parts close not azaleas. They fling their pollen-dusted anthers out in all directions like worn-out party horns, too far apart for bee or beetle to reconcile. There'd always be lots of interesting things going on on them, right? There'd be all sorts of different insects that would come and hang out, and this got us really wondering, well, okay, what's doing the pollinating then? She didn't have to wait long. From the canopy came an Eastern tiger swallowtail, all yellows, blacks, and blues. This is good evidence that the butterflies were really doing the work here. And, you know, at our field site, we found really just two species of big butterflies coming to azaleas. And uh, most of them were Eastern tiger swallowtails. Eastern tiger swallowtails are our state butterflies, and they are one of the largest butterflies in North America. They're beautiful, and they emerge as adults right about the time that azaleas start opening their petals, ready for business. When a butterfly, like an Eastern tiger swallowtail, lands on a flam azalea bush, it flaps its tremendous gentle wings, brushing those party horns and coating itself in pollen. As the butterfly hunts for nectar, it keeps flapping, transferring pollen from flower to flower. The relationship between the azaleas and the butterflies that pollinate it have been going on for millions of years, but humans didn't know about it until we took a moment to pay attention. When I see these pictures that Brenda makes of creatures that I love so much, she picks up on stories that she hasn't even been told. And she's able to do that because she pays attention to the world. It makes me so happy. Thank you. Thank you. I'm honored and thrilled oh, to say that. The more you look at something and stop and actually pay a little more attention, like the more cool things that you can find out. It's just a reminder that there are little interesting discoveries and surprising things to be seen everywhere in the world around us if we just pay attention. Understanding even the most seemingly common occurrences in this life requires wondering and noticing, two abilities that each of us has. 
we can all find something astonishing in the everyday if we pay attention. To learn more about azaleas and the Eastern Tiger Swallowtail Butterfly, read the story in the May 2025 issue of Our State Magazine and consider becoming a subscriber to have the magazine delivered straight to your door. This video is sponsored by the Southern Environmental Law Center. To see more videos like this one, subscribe to the Our State YouTube channel.